Hey everyone and welcome to New Egg TV. My name is Paul. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and overview of this P300 Pico projector by AXA Technologies. Start off with a look at the retail box. This is powered by DLP technology, originally developed by Texas Instruments. It uses thousands of tiny mirrors to project each pixel of the image. So they have vibrant technology integrated into this one. Just a uh, kind of list of uh, icons over here on the side. So uh, first off for resolution, you can do HD 1280 by 800. That's a native resolution. Although you can do up to 1920 by 1080 resolution. Uh, maximum. You also uh, have the option of buying a sold separately long-lasting battery that can power this projector for about an hour on uh, battery life. Uh, up to 100 inches and actually some of the other information I have here says projects uh, images up to 120 inches. So if you're looking for a large size image, uh, this is definitely a good way to do that. Uh, you have an HDMI as an option for connectivity. You also have VGA, micro SD, as well as micro USB integrated, as well as uh, this is a certified USB compatible device. Here's a look at the included accessories. You have an AC power adapter, so uh, adapter with the cable there, so you can connect that if you're not gonna be purchasing these sold separately battery. You get a full user guide from Axic Technologies that will walk you through the setup and use of the product, as well as a little insert here for contacting Axic Technologies if you have any questions or concerns about the product. They've also included a small tripod with the bendable, flexible legs, so you can prop up the projector and get it angled to project onto the wall or surface of your choice. You also have an adapter here since it's using a small VGA adapter that's not a very common version. They've included an adapter to connect up here to a standard 15 pin D sub connector for VGA. Uh, so if you're using this particularly with an older laptop as a VGA out, you can still connect that up. And then finally for video connection here, they've included a composite AV adapter so uh, you can get your video through the yellow one and the audio through the white and red. And lastly here we have an included remote control with directional as well as media control buttons so you can use the projector remotely. And here's the P300 mini projector itself. Uh, first off for dimensions this is 5.9 inches wide, 3.8 inches front to back and just 1.5 inches tall with a weight of 1.3 pounds. So you can see it's finished primarily in uh, white with a black cover up on top as well as some buttons that are mounted directly to the projector. So you can control that without the remote if you're right next to it, of course. Uh, some indicator lights there for whether, when it's on or if there's any uh, error indication status. And you'll notice plenty of, uh, of grilling basically throughout this device. So you can make sure that you get plenty of airflow through to keep the internal components nice and cool. You also have a manual focus ring, which is right over here on the side. So you can uh, focus up manually to make sure that you have a nice sharp picture. Flipping over to the top, we can see the uh, surface mounted buttons. Uh, we have an input select right here, power as well as a back button, and then directional pad with an OK so you can navigate around the internal, uh, the internal menus. Uh, over here on this side, you will note you have an HDMI right there, so full size HDMI and you can do 1080 uh, via that. You also have that micro SD card reader, so you can just plug that in to load up uh, images or video directly from a micro SD card. There's your AV out, so you can use that with your composite connector cable that I showed you. An on off switch right there, and then a power input for the AC power adapter. Uh, over here on the back is your VGA connection, so that's where you would plug in that VGA cable adapter. You also have a headphone jack, and this does also come with integrated one watt, uh, actually two integrated one watt speakers. So you can have uh, audio directly out of the projector, or you can plug in uh, that headphone jack to uh, get sound via headphones, or you can route that over to, say, a soundboard or something like that if you want to pipe the music somewhere else. Uh, also, a USB port, and that would work just like that micro SD. Uh, card port so you can use that to load up pictures or video from an SD card slot. Here on the bottom you'll notice uh, you get a standard mount here for a tripod that will also of course work that with that included tripod and then this is the battery compartment over here. Uh, the battery is uh, currently installed on this model again that is sold separately so bear that in mind but let me pop that off real quick to show you guys. So all you got to do is remove three screws right here and then give it a little pop and the battery will will remove. Again, uh, this is sold separately, so if you do not purchase the add-on battery, you'll just have this cover. Uh, the battery snaps in right there. It just has a small cable which connects to the internal uh, housing of the projector. And then again, that should provide about an hour's worth of uh, use for this P300 projector.
And just to round out the specs here, again, this projector has a native resolution of 1280 by 800, max resolution of 1920 by 1080, a max brightness of 300 lumens, that's when connected directly via DC, and a max brightness of 160 lumens when it's uh, being powered by the battery, and a contrast ratio of 2000 to 1. And that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Once again, this has been the P300 DLP-powered Pico Projector by AXA Technologies. I'm Paul with Newegg TV. If you enjoyed this video, then go ahead and click the like button. Check out the rest of our Newegg TV YouTube channels for more videos just like this, and we'll see you all next time.